Twilight doesn't sound familiar. Oh, thank God. I thought we'd never see these guys again. I'm, I'm actually kind of glad to see Slippy. Jukebox, kind of. Are they in? Rush, Slippy. Another, uh, another iteration of Rob. I, I guess he dropped the 64 hey, moniker. Isn't this music getting on your nerves? Now I'm he's the Rob Cube. Ah, there you go. Yay! Okay, okay. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Hey! Slippy, it's Gerald Pepper. He kind of sounds Gerald whiny. Is that normal? I have a new mission for you, Fox. Yeah. Uh, you at this point in the story, I suppose, it's been eight years since Star Fox 64, and Falco has left the team. <gasps> No! Why? Falco has left the team. Yep, yep, he was bored because they didn't have any jobs and he's kind of lazed around and so Falco's like, you know what, fuck this, I'm out of here. You know, I'm out of here, fuck off. So he's, he, he, he's, he's not in this game. I need a minute. Okay, I don't really care. Peppy's face is like, you yeah, he said money. Let's do it. <laughs> totally gonna do it for money. <laughs> totally, Fox! Get it? Alright, so off to Dinosaur Planet to fix that mess. That's not, ooh, that's not good at all. Jeez. What took on the planet? Here's the maps. <gasps> Here's a map screen. Only, only thing we can do is fly to Dinosaur Planet. Multiple there's, times? Uh, place... Wow. Yep. And, uh, there's four places we, can, we can't go to yet for some reason, but, uh... I guess going dinosaur plan is the best thing we can do for now, the only thing we can do. So let's get to it. General Pepper here. Your uh, mission takes place on Thorntail Hollow. You okay, Pepper? So the These voices are awesome. Oh wow, he's butter. kind of glitching out like Pepper the uh, out. chief of police in Resident Evil 2. It's still got some rare charm to it. All right, that's what you want to call it. The wonderful Arwing sections. They are few and far between, but they're fun when you get to play them. So we need to fly through one gold ring, and only one, so we can break the force field and get inside the planet. Only one. Only one. A silver ring, but that, that didn't count. So how's it gold? So how's it feel? It controls about the same as Assault does. Just, just imagine playing Assault just like that. It uh, controls really well. It feels very fluently. Fuck that gold ring. Um, it, and, uh, that's all I need to know. <laughs> Are you miss- you're missing the rings on purpose, obviously, but for what reason? I don't know what you're talking about. Here- here's one. Oh, no, not that one. Uh, let's see, uh, how about that? No, not that one. I'm being- ch I'm being choosy. I want to choose my gold ring, because I- I only need one. I don't need several. Uh, as you go to later levels, you will need more than one gold ring, but this- but because you will need to go back to Dinosaur Planet frequently, uh, this- this is obviously the easiest. But I call this the best part of the game, because it's fun, it feels natural, it's just, it's right at home, and I'll just, yeah. Alright, that's the end of the level. It did it. <sighs> the field is down. Over too soon. Mm-hmm. That was from when I last did it earlier. God, the last guy who played this sucked. I know, I gotta tell him, I gotta kick him out. All right, our main hub world, Thorntail Hollow. Littlefoot. Everything the light they touches is like such strong hands, didn't they? <laughs> We've got two different movie references going on, and I believe mine was 100% wrong. Mine was probably not that right either, but uh, yeah, now we're out of the Arwing. Arwing looks kind of. Ugh. Uh, we're out of the R-Wing. You said the magic words again. Yep. Great flying, Fox! For a moment, I thought you weren't gonna make it! <laughs> the smug face on Fox! Yeah, I know it was good! Everybody busts each other's balls in this game, man. <laughs> I think they know how, how bad of an idea this is. This was evidently Nintendo's decision. Oh, they, saw how sim they saw how similar uh, that guy from Dinosaur Planet was to Fox McCloud, so they made it a Star Fox game. But it, 
they, they tried to make it work, but uh, if this is if this is Rare's weakest game that they made for Nintendo, it's still stronger than their entire library they made with Microsoft. That's I will say that wholeheartedly. All right. All right. So, why can't we shoot things? Yeah, yeah, very funny, sir. You know, I don't know. I guess they just forgot to give us a use for the blaster, but hey, we don't need a blaster because, uh, let's we'll check out the pause menu real quick. Save. Get that taken care of. And that's how that works. Pepper gives you status, Pepper gives you a world map, Slippy gives you advice. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he does. <laughs> Alright, so I'm talking to this dinosaur just fine. He's telling us that Shark Claw has kind of got him by the balls right now, I suppose. And the Queen is locked up in solitude. Hmm. Things aren't going really well right here. The Dumbledang plot! <laughs> Lovely. I love, all, I love it, Dumbledang. All, all of the Dumbledangs. <laughs> well, we don't need our blaster because we got something else more interesting over here. Ooh. Is it an R-Wing so we can play a good Star Fox game? Better here. It's Crystal's staff. <gasps> Look at her disembodied head. It looks kind of weird, I know. <laughs> it looks like it shouldn't be there. And Fox just swatted it away. Not listening. Doing kung fu. Yeah, yeah. yeah and actually, actually, he's... Check it out, he's doing some pretty cool moves, man. Yeah, alright. <laughs> he's trying to swat the head. Yeah, check it out. Yeah, he's got some moves. Yeah, alright. He got the hang of it. He didn't right. listen to a word. I wanna of that, do did. that. Let's do what he did. Yes. yes. Awesome. All right, let's go try to on some bad guys. Okay. Hey, we heard some girl out here. What's going on? Ain't no women in this game. Is she out for the rest of the game? Uh, you'll see. Okay, okay. Com combat is deceptively easy. Hold forward, keep mashing A, and when they're open, do that when you're when they're open. And send them do to the twice. heavenly light. Do it twice, takes them out easily. Do that for every single enemy. You really don't deviate much from that. Sometimes you roll, roll out of the way, sometimes you wait until they're open, but really, your main mode of attack. Whack, 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 bam! Whack, 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 bam! You know, as riveting as this sounds, never mind. No, 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 go ahead. I'm sure you had something. No, I was. I, I had something, but it was too derivative. Mm, okay. Just like the combat. <laughs> you have killed four people. You are ready to wield my staff. I'm sure I am, baby. Wait. Hey. Alright, well, we can make our way over there and spoil a little bit, but I want to go through here. Eh. Okay, I guess I can't. Well, anyway, let's go. So... Fox can swim. Oh, that's well, our good. Our goal right now is to use... is to go to that flower. That flower that was... that was billowing smoke. That's our next goal. Right now it's nighttime, everybody's asleep, I can't talk to anybody. It's kind of <laughs> crap. <laughs> they don't even wake up? How unrealistic is this game about talking foxes? I know, right? Hit the trees, produce fruit, get the double dangs. Those are mushrooms, very poisonous. Don't touch them, because they hurt. You don't you because they're very, very wide range. So I wasn't even near that. All right, my staff is going, which means that there is a staff upgrade so somewhere down. <clears throat> Sorry, there is a staff upgrade somewhere down here. This looks familiar. I know, right? You saw it in Star Fox Assault, didn't you? No, I saw it in a Zelda game. Oh, okay. But you did see it in Star Fox Assault. Well, yeah, I did. Alright, Staff Energy Gem. You'll see what these do in a minute. 
Okay, the replenisher magic. It's it's Zelda. What the fuck do you want? <laughs> Actually, yeah. Now that you mention it, it's been a couple millennia since we did <laughs> Star Fox Assault. But this does seem familiar. He's got to get back in the groove of things. The fire blast. So instead of using our own blaster, we'll use a blaster from this weird, mysterious staff from space. Oh, uh, that's... cool. And you only have one hotkey. Only one goddamn hotkey. No way. <laughs> only one. And if you want to use uh, uh, different abilities for your staff, that's also in your inventory. And, oh, gaming is a bitch. <laughs> it's invert... <laughs> It's inverted, and you can't change it, and it's so goddamn sensitive. Yes! Oh my god, oh my god. It takes a lot of getting used to, but luckily it doesn't lean too much on it. And uh, well, at least, not. it does for the first half of the game, though, but... And what reason did you like this? It was fun, okay? It was Star Fox, wasn't it? That's what got you. It was Star Fox and Zelda. That, that was like... A magnet to me, and now there's enemies out in the field. These badges are really hard to hit because Fox is not really one for accuracy. Your face Mag shifting them yeah. out of existence! Ah! What kind of staff is this? It's an extra dimensional monster killer. That's something for far later, another uh, ability that we'll get. So, is this a 100% uh, run? No, 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 I'm just playing it again because it's fun. You could have fooled me. <laughs> it just takes some getting used to... <laughs> okay, it's not about the quality of the game, it's about the adventure, okay? It's a game, the fucking game's called Star Fox Adventures, okay? Okay. So it's about the adventure. Okay, I gotcha, it's an adventure. But I thought adventures, stuff was supposed to be happening. Well, if you were paying attention, you would see that we blew up that weird plant, which grants us bomb spores. Which is the next leg in our journey here. Bl oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Water physics, eh? Fox, the textures. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, that hurt me when I blew it up, so I'm going to step back and get some more. It's kind of weird is that they fly away, so you gotta run and catch him like an idiot. I got it! 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 <laughs> Alright, three's good for now. So we make our way over here. How do these work exactly? Do you just throw them like regular bombs? Well, you plant them and you set them off, but hey, man. Are you gonna let me through? I heard there was supposed to be a Star Fox game in here. Uh, okay, so, uh, very, very important. Hit this right here, and you get ten scarabs. <gasps> What's a scarab? What's a scarab, you ask? Yeah. What does that look like? It's currency. Oh. Really? Yep. Star Fox and you're collecting bugs. Bugs is currency, isn't it? Now I have ten coins, and ten coins is all I can carry. That's how that for limiting. Really? Mm -hmm. Ten coins? Uh, so, bat in a thousand, Star Fox Adventures. Now I've changed my PDA to give us information about the lo the wildlife. Thorn tails are friendly grass-eating dinosaurs, and the R-Wing has, uh, <laughs> seen better days. <laughs> Really, our next step is to go over here, where that big giant panel came from, and that looks like a place where we can use our fire blaster. And you'd be right, because it is. Good guess. Well, thank you. It's, I... really, hard, it's really, really hard to aim. I hate aiming. Aiming is shit. It's like they use the aiming engine from Jet Force Gemini, and if you remember that game, wow. Wow. Wasn't that another one you liked? That was another rare game for N64 okay? that was underrated, I think. My name is Fox McCloud. And you must be the Queen Earthwalker. No, no, so I can't no, talk to this dinosaur. Away, Moshe, Prince Tricky, <laughs> Teal, Root, 
okay, hot, <laughs> Fox's kill, reactions are awesome. That's kind of what makes the game worth playing. Fox's <laughs> just <laughs> lethargic, like, <laughs> attitude. <laughs> Awesome. He's just like, I don't know what the fuck you're saying, dude. <laughs> nice name. Okay, lady, I'll bring your son. I, I could just, you. I could watch this I on mute and still get entertainment. Just skip all the, <laughs> skip all the, uh, gameplay pieces. The animation is actually quite nice, actually, because uh, Fox's faces are kind of what make it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I very, use my? Very... Oh. You've got to talk to that big stone guy. <laughs> That's all I need to know. I'll be back soon, Queen. Don't you worry. Uh. Haven't you finished that translator yet? It's nearly ready, Fox. I just need a bit more time. Slip me out. So that translator worked fine for that other dinosaur, but it didn't work for the Queen? That doesn't make any sense at all. I just well, whatever. Uh, the pet. I'm, I'm sorry, can you just edit in a fly swatter and take out Slippy? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, that's the only thing I was thinking of. Anyway, you're gonna blow up that wall? Yeah, now that, now that that dude's moved, we're gonna blow up the wall, we're gonna talk to the rock binder, I mean the warp stone, and we're gonna go to the ice mountain to go save Prince Tricky so we can come back, so he can get things going, and bing bang bada boom! Yeah. Dumbledangs! So... Go ahead and plant your bomb spore. When you plant bomb spores, they won't make new spores. You can only get them from their spawn points. So stand back and uh, aim right. And uh, hey, man, if you're a little close, dude. You want to move? Yeah, no, he's oh. fine. No, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he's okay. All right. Anyway. Wow. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my energy back. That's nice of the game designers to put that there. Hello there. there. Hello over the bridge, and right over here, and talk to the man, and... Nobody ever brings me gifts anymore. Oh my god! What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Nobody ever brings me gifts anymore! Are you kidding? Well... We got something left to do still. <laughs> While we're here, let's go ahead and plant another bomb spore right here. <laughs> oh, rare! Are you kidding me right now? See, this game has its moments. Nobody ever it's, brings me a gift. It's all about the adventure. Just keep telling yourself that. <laughs> yeah, sure. Here's some fuel cells. We don't need them right now, but we will need them later. The more we get right now, the better off we'll be uh, later. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, the more I look at this and see how broken kind of the cutscenes are, it reminds me of how many other GameCube games had the exact same problem. <laughs> <laughs> like Spyro, you're the dragonfly, or whatever it's called. Enter the dragonfly, or whatever, it sucked. <laughs> I never played Spyro. Alright, well, uh, we're a little stuck right now. Maybe we can talk to this guy and get some answers. Do you have a present? <laughs> He's lethargic. Look at him. Why don't you go talk to the warp stone? I already tried that. You are useless. Why are you. <laughs> Kill the dinosaur. Yeah, Bring him as my present. Well, I know what to do. We need to head back into town and leave here for now. So we came here just to leave again. We came here just to get told we need to get him a present. Fetch quests. But, In my but Star I did, But uh, I did this because I think I saved uh, the best part of this little opening uh, shtick for last. We're going into the store. Oh, no. The store. Oh man. All right, down there and up here. You're gonna have to do that a lot. And through here, and then let the magic flow. <laughs> Welcome to my store. No. Feel free to look at the many wonderful items within these walls. No. Food, Gruntilda, no. Goods, and many maps. 
This is like a combination of like five different rare characters all in one. No kidding! Okay. I wanna put I wanna put this chick up somewhere in like a top ten merchants or shopkeepers. That's a chick? Is that clear? Uh, you can't tell? Well... No? Now, hurry and choose something. Or get out! The shopping, uh... See, uh, system is actually kinda cool. A lot of stuff in here is really goddamn expensive. We have no hope of getting a lot of this stuff right now. I mean, god, 130 scarabs. You know, we got maps. We don't need that, though. We got Firefly Lantern, but, uh... The thing we need is right over here. We need the rock candy. Oh. You pay this much. What's cool is you could haggle with her. You can pay more if you want. You can pay less if you want. So, but we can go as low as we can. And she says, No, that's too low. Okay, if you don't like five, how about six? No, that's too low. And three strikes, you're out. Yeah, I don't need business from cheapskates. Get out. Really? So you can pay less scarabs if you want to, but she can be a little bit of a fickle mistress. Sometimes she'll let she'll haggle with you, sometimes she won't. Like here, I'm just kinda shooting the shit and figure I'll just go with nine. That's too low. Really? Yeah. Okay, I'll sell it to you. Hmm. I think there's like I think there's like some kind of uh, mood that you put her into because I realize that she haggles with you more when you pay more for stuff, so I think there's kind of like a zero gain ultimately here. Interesting. So now we got what we need. We got the stupid rock man, stupid rock candy. So let's take it to his stupid fat face and I'm lost. <laughs> it's too dark. Can you help me? I'm kidding. All right. Head on out and... Oh, I hate climbing so bad. Well, at least you can give, give him like a sick beat when he's climbing. Like... <laughs> Has, there, has that joke been done before? Um, I did it about two minutes ago, if that is anything. I'm just going to put unoriginal up here anyway, just in case. Okay. Okay. All right. anyway. That sounds about right. <laughs> Let's hurry and take this go. Oh, I'm rolling as fast as I can. You need to select it from your inventory, though. Ah, okay. A lovely sweetie. And belch. Who does bother the mighty Warpstone? He's Scottish. Do you get it? Left alone to rest? <laughs> no, what I don't. Do you want? Uh, well, can you help us? <laughs> the subtitles are riveting. No. I know they are. Dino talk. But you're a Warpstone. You're supposed to help. Uh, right. How could well, a warp stone forget what he's supposed to do? What I'm supposed to Been do. eating too many of them dumble dangs. Okay. Now if Maybe you he really is depressed because nobody stick, brings him gifts anymore. Warp stone thingies? Warp stone thingies? We'll you should know what they are. What? And if you push Why don't you know? Stick, then you can enter the maze. Oh god, no! We're not doing a maze. Uh, not yet, anyway. Uh, when you have collected a Crozoa spirit, then push right on the control stick. Okay, push right on the I'll control stick. That sounds like the place we need to, to go. Crozoa I mean, Palace. that's where the shit's happening, right? No. You know what I do. So Nothing. Okay, if so no let's go right. Be, we'll head to Crozoa Palace right, right now, and then sleep. we'll get the rest of the Crozoa spirits and, you know, go from there. You cannot go to Crozoa Palace until you have collected... A Krozoa spirit. Well, that's bullshit. Whatever. I guess we'll just go to Ice Mountain. We might do the game well maze later. Are I'm not sure. Maybe. To walk? I guess I have no choice. Let's go. He's gonna throw you, isn't he? Aw, oh, man. Nah, he just uh, hurls you through space. Well, well that's okay. Uh, 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 loading. Uh. Now we're at the Ice Mountain. This is where Prince Tricky is. And next time, we're gonna go and see if we can get his stupid freaking. Oh, you're gonna love Tricky. <laughs> Alright, bring it on.